Hi everyone, this is Vilasni. Today I'm going to walk you through the requirements of an architecture and planning company that provides solutions for both residential and commercial projects and employs eight people. My colleague Miles will be joining us in the later part of this video. Let's jump into the requirements of this company, which is looking for software solutions that can handle customer management, web conferencing, file storage, appointment booking, accounting, email and social media marketing, and online chat. The business process of this company starts with customer acquisition. Their leads are generated through different touch points like newsletters, web forms, chat, calls, and social media. Once the leads are generated, they are qualified and sent a form to fill out their requirements. This goes into a CRM database for the architects to review. Once the architect reviews this and sends their sample work, the customer lets them know their next course of action. If they are interested, an estimate should be sent. If the customer is happy with the estimate, an advance should be collected. If not, there'll be some negotiations. Once the advance is collected, the architect needs to send a booking link for the customer to book a slot with them. During the slot, the building plan will be showcased via a web conference app. If the customer is happy, the final plan should be sent via email, after which an invoice needs to be raised to collect the balance. If not, there'll be some changes made to be sent for the customer's approval once again and the process restarts. Once the job is completed, a survey form should be sent for the customer to provide a rating. This company does not have any builders in the organization, but they have partnered with third-party builders whose contact details need to be shared via email based on the customer's preference. Let me turn it over to Miles, who will be assisting us with a solution for the business process I just explained. Thanks, Velasani, for your detailed explanation of the business process. Zoho offers a wide range of applications to generate and manage leads. For newsletters, you can use Zoho Campaigns, which is our email marketing app that allows you to send mass emails. For web forms, you can use Zoho Forms, which is our form builder app to collect data. Alternatively, you can go with web form feature inside Zoho CRM. Web forms in both the apps can be embedded into your website to collect inquiries. For live chat and engagement, you can use Zoho Sales IQ, which helps you provide online customer support. Applications like Zoho CRM and Zoho Desk support integration with third-party telephony to manage both inbound and outbound calls. If you are looking to track call recordings as well, make sure the telephone provider you choose has this feature. To manage social media activities across different channels, you can use Zoho Social, which is our social media management app. Zoho CRM can act as a central hub by using integrations to manage the customer data spread across multiple apps. This is the interface of Zoho CRM. Leads captured from various sources will be found inside the leads module. Since the lead was pushed from the web form, you can find it in the lead source field. All your closed lost leads can be pushed to a mailing list in Zoho Campaigns to nurture them. Since Zoho Campaigns integrates with Zoho CRM, you will be able to sync leads and contacts to a mailing list in Campaigns. Once the leads are qualified, you can convert them into contacts and use Zoho Forms to collect additional information from the customers. This can be automated by triggering an email with the help of the workflow rule feature in Zoho CRM, where the form link added to the email template will be pre-filled with data in Zoho CRM through the integration. Once a customer fills out the form, a deal gets created inside Zoho CRM and the file uploaded by the customer will be found in Zoho WorkDrive, which is our cloud storage app. Once the architect reviews the files, they come up with their sample work and share it via email or through Zoho WorkDrive. If the customer is interested in the sample work, an estimate can be sent from Zoho Books, which is our accounting app. While creating the estimate, a retainer invoice can be generated to collect the advance payment. 
Customers will be able to accept the estimate via a public link or through a client portal in Zoho Books. When the estimate is accepted, this is what the retainer invoice looks like. After this, the architect works on the client's requirements and shares the appointment booking link through Zoho CRM to discuss their design work. Zoho CRM has integration with Zoho Meeting so that once an appointment is booked by the client, a meeting link will be shared automatically from Zoho Meeting. Clients can just click on the link to join the session. If the client is interested in the plan, a final invoice can be raised for the remaining amount. The payment can be collected either offline or online as Zoho Books supports both. After collecting the payment, you can use Zoho Survey, which is our online survey tool, to get feedback from your client right away. It has an integration with Zoho CRM to send a survey link from CRM itself as we did for forums earlier. This is an integrated business flow where all the operations we discussed so far are merged into one unified process. Similarly, the application supporting these operations can be integrated for optimal data sync. Thanks, Miles, for walking us through the best apps for this business process. I have a few questions for you. When it comes to integration, are all the apps integrated by default? Secondly, is there a single cost tied to all the apps or do I need to purchase everything separately? Lastly, how do our competitors handle this? Sure, uh, let me answer one by one. To answer your first question, applications will not have integration by default. You will need to set up the integration once and then you're good to go. This is the integration page of Zoho CRM where you can find Zoho applications that supports integrations with it. For your next question, you do have the choice to pick the point products or you can use Zoho One, which is our integrated suite of 40 plus applications to manage various aspects of your business. Lastly, it depends on the applications you're using. If the apps have native integration, all is well and good. But if not, you can use integrator tools like Zoho Flow or API to achieve your needs. If there is no API compatibility, it is better to look at modern tools that are compatible. Thanks, Miles, for helping me with all my questions. We hope this was useful for you to understand how Zoho's products can be aligned based on any business process for automation. Thank you for watching this video. And remember, it's never too late to streamline your own process with automation. If you'd like us to take a look at your business and come up with a similar plan, just send us a request using the link in the description below. That's all from me. It's bye for now.